Welcome back to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel replays. So in this video, we're going to go through the final three Exosister replays that I have from the Synchro Uxies Festival. It was a bunch of fun, kind of upset that it only lasted for about a week because I had work and well, I didn't really have enough time to fully learn Exosisters and build the deck out to the way I wanted to. At the end of the video, you guys are going to see the deck list that I just threw together and see what we get. For so the first opponent we have here is Sword Souls. And Javelier de Fleur, who are you? Once per turn, during your turn, when your opponent activates a spell or trap card, you can make it. What the fuck? Alright. So I guess they didn't have better Ness, so they had that one. So guys, I propose a question before the duel starts. What deck did you run in the Synchro Exceeds Festival? I'm interested to know. Okay, opening hand. Oh, not the greatest, but not the worst. Harvey's Feather Duster for back row clearing. Ash Blossom for Renegade. Exo Sister Ellis. Forbidden Droplet and Armand. Alright. And he's going first, so I'm pretty sure I asked. <laughs> when the sword soul bricks! I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not realize that that guy didn't have anything and that was just a quick surrender. I have no idea why. I saved it. Who knows? A win is a win, I'll take it. This next deck is... Paleo's the... Oh, wait. This... Okay, I know. I remember this one. This one... Oh. Anytime you see Zodiacs going to Zeus, and it's like, okay, all right, I see what you're doing. It's a Paleozoic Zodiac Zeus. Jeez, my guy. All right, let's see how this plays out. They're going first as well. Opening hand is Feather Duster, Designator, Forbidden Dropout Packs, and right into the Zodiac plays. Let's, uh, this is gonna, this is gonna take a minute. Dryden's Summon set to pass. Okay. I pull Vadis. Let's see how this goes. Harpy Feather Duster to clear the back row. They did not have a response, and the popped two cards were... <laughs> the popped two cards were something very important to them, and they just surrendered. These are some very quick duels, I gotta say. God, I thought I at least had a good back-to-back, -back, but I guess... It's not even Exosisters that are doing it. It's the Staples. It's the Staples. Okay, third opponent's deck got Utopic... Phantom Knights. Okay, so Phantom Knights. Now, if you guys don't know, Phantom Knights, they just love to visit the grave and overstay their welcome and come back and do their whole shenanigans. You know what Exorcisters like? They like when you move out of the graveyard. So, opponent going first again. Let's see the setup. Summon the Phantom Knights and... Or, Ragged Gloves. When I saw that, I decided to maxi it, but then they cross out designated my maxi. I guess I'm not getting any cards this time around, which is fine. I have what I need. So I got the boot stick, sees into break sword. And the set two. I don't think this is going to be too, too bad. I draw into Stella. Normal Stella. Activate. They forbidden droplet. And they pitch their Phantom Knight's wing. I gotta say, that kind of messed me up a bit, so I just set two and passed. I have Arment and Vadis set. Main phase one comes around, activates the effect to detach. I then, I'm forced to activate Arment out of this. But then I chain Vadis so I have two other Exosister cards on the field as well. Because once I, once I realize, okay, Phantom Knights, I need to start getting my, my girls on the field so I can pop off. Do I go into Mikaela's here? I do. Out she comes. Now, of course, activates. Now those get moved from the graveyard, but I, I I think I also banish. Oh, I forgot they had Gamma. So if you guys don't know. Hello there. Let's go me. I forgot the current me. I forgot I had an Ash Blossom in the hand. Good job, post duelist. Let's go. So then that activates. He moved it from grave. That is, that is, fought, that is. That is beautiful to me. Because then once this chain resolves, my girls are like, wait, didn't you just move a card from Grave? I decided to banish the one he targeted. That one comes back. Now these two get to exceed straight out of here. They're like, bye, we need to go into a costume change. So I go into I still feel here. Did I go into Cat Spell or Gibreen for the other one? Cat spell. Or Caspatel. I'm so sorry I am botting these names. Why did I put Caspatel in defense? 
Was I scared of something? Either way, I popped their effects. So, ahem. <clears throat> you saw he tried to attack and it didn't work. Let's see. You can use one of these effects of Exosister Cast Patel once per turn. If this card is XC summoned, which it did, using an Exosister monster's material, neither player can special summon monsters from the graveyard. Love that! For the rest of the turn, you can detach one material, add one Exosister monster from your deck to your hand. But there was also an effect I think I popped with you. Oh no. And what was it? Ugh. For Exosister Cast Patel, cannot be destroyed by a cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster special summoned from the graveyard, which was you. They realized that, and then they left. These are some really quick duels. I'm so sorry. So I forgot that I actually had more Exosister duels other than those three. So let's get into it. Opening Ash, Ellis, Sophia, Raigeki, evenly matched. Now you're going to see why I run evenly matched in this deck. So summon Sophia to get Ellis. Exceeds them away into Time Thief Redoer. Shout out to my boy Yuki Haru for, you know, fighting me with locals for this. And I get to slurp up a card. What did I get? I took their trap card. So they had nothing, so they passed. And again, standby phase came around. Time Thief activate again. I took another monster. I normal summon Irene. I set. And I just poke and poke. Classic bread and butter. Turn change. He draws. Standby. Time Thief Redoer does his thing. Takes a spell card this time. So now I have a plethora of cards in here. Spell, monster, and trap. So I can basically activate any of these effects. I can banish the card, I can draw a card, or I can place one face-up monster controls to the top of the deck. Now I activate Exosisters Devada so I can get more Exosisters on the field. They decide to try and activate Ecclesia to special summon. I'm like, nope, I'm good. Negate! Exosis Servatus gets two other Exosisters from me on the field in defense position. They decide to Monster Reborn. I believe they're Ecclesia, which is fine. I time Thief Redoer. Do I pitch the spell card here? Surely I do. Yep, and I draw a card, so I get Maxi. Cool, cool. And they summon Ecclesia back. And then I'm like, did you pull from Grave? That is three Exosister Xyz effects right there. That's a big mistake, Sword Soul. Big mistake. And they realize their error of their ways, and they surrender. Listen, if you pull from Grave and three Exo Sisters pop off in your face, I'm not- I'm surrendering too, bro. You got it. So, in light of those short duels, we'll go into a, a long explanation of the deck list here. As you notice, there are some cards that I don't have anymore because your boy is kind of short on UR materials. It's kind of dry out in here. This is what I had to work with. Again, don't know why I had the Effect Veiler, and I probably don't need three Ash. I could- I always- I don't know why I have the Solemns in here, because I don't think I need them. That's just me personally. Now, my friend Yuki did say I could probably get away with two of for certain Exosisters. And again, didn't have a lot of materials to craft as many as I wanted to. If I had my way, I could probably get two more Mikhailis in my extra deck. But I ran with a quick basic three of each. Artifact Lancia, Dimension Shifter, Nibiru, Raigeki, Harpy's Feather, Duster, Pot of Avarice, because, you know, I run that in my Sky Striker deck, so why not? Lightning Storm, two Exorcist of uh, two Cosmic Cyclone, one Crossout Designator, two Droplet, one Pax, even though I technically could run two, three Armand, one Magic Cylinder for the memes for the boys, three Evenly Matched, two Exorcist of and two Solemns, one Judgment, one Strike. So it's not the best deck, Nowhere near it. If you guys know of any way to improve this Exosister deck, please let me know down in the comment section down below, and I will run it back in ranked with more Exosisters. I really want to have fun with them, and I feel like I can. I just need to figure out how they work. And when Exosister Martha and the other Exosister cards from Power of the Elements drop in Master Duel, not a confirmed date yet. It's probably going to be a little bit, but when they drop, oh, baby, I will be there. Either way, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys liked it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, because you know, it like being turned on. Let me know if there are any decks that you want to see on this channel. I have a lot written down that I can try, and there's one, one deck in particular, one combination of archetypes that I am very interested in, and I spent all last night till 3 or 4 a.m. today testing it in casual. It seems to work better than the current deck I have. Who knows? I've been Rev. Keep being awesome, and I'll see you next time.